What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So today I'm kind of in a rush because I've been getting spammed by Brandon. We are fishing a local dam right now in northern Wisconsin. He's actually fishing it. I haven't even gotten down there. I just got off work maybe an hour ago, two hours ago, and he's been just non-stop calling me. He's been saying, Nick, I've caught tons of fish. He's using plastics apparently, jigging on the side of the dam some slack water. And he's gone three for three already. So he's he's calling me a ton. He's like, Nick, you gotta get down here. So I am currently walking down right now. He doesn't have any camera gear. I got it all. So we're gonna go check in on him. See what's see what's happening. Brandon, what's up, buddy? Ooh, just released another. Another. Yep. Took three casts so far. Literally three for three. Not doing too shabby right now. Check this out. Okay. So we're like literally right on shore. I, my first cast came down, casted probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 feet into the water, something like that. And uh, towards that buoy. You said, yeah, right? kind of towards that buoy. Smoked bottom. I thought, you know, it's kind of like snag. So I pulled up on it, got off the rock, and then bam, I got slammed. And I'm like, holy cow. First fish, that one was 14 and three quarters, 14 and like seven eighths. So it was like so close to being a keeper. And then I actually caught two, check this out. We're gonna see if I can do it. I literally caught two right here on shore. Okay, see this? Let me show you this real quick. On shore. On shore, let me show you what I'm using, super fast. Okay, so right now, this is the bait of choice. This is a jig from VMC, it's the Moon Eye Jig. And I've got it in, it's like a yellowish orange chartreuse color. Real, very glittery eye, which I like. And then I've got just a pink and white uh, paddle tail and I bit off the top. I always like to give it a little bit smaller presentation, spit it out, whatever, okay? So check this out. Literally just going to drop this into the water, okay? So You're let sure. it basically sink to bottom. We're sitting in slack water right here. And now all I'm gonna do, let her go to bottom. And then I just slowly drag it across the bottom, like like inch by inch by inch, like super slow. And I just caught two back to back right here on the shore like this. Just super, super slow presentation. That was a tap right there. Oh. Right next to the freaking, <laughs> look how close we are. Oh my gosh, Oh my dude. God. That is awesome. Give him the old boat flip -roo. Let's go. That's a tiny one, but. Yeah, another little one. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Like I said, gotta be 15 inches here. Get that plastic out of his mouth. Catching Just... one in the intro though, that uh, <laughs> only means a few things, right? That probably oh, gonna means we're gonna do good. Gonna be a good night. Put him to the bump. I'm guessing 14 and a half, maybe shorter than that. He's gonna be close, but not quite, I think. Oh, he's milking. What do we got here? Yep, 14 and a half. 14 and a half. That was a good guess. Okay, let's go ahead quick, get a release on him. Decent little one, but not quite what we're looking for. I'd love to see a big one, but of course it's always nice when you get some keepers and they gotta be between 15 and 20 inches. So, not necessarily looking for anything massive tonight, but I definitely would not mind it. Let's go ahead, get a release on him here. Just like that buries himself right below us. It kind of drops off quick. It's not like incredibly deep. It's rocky right here. Um, but like I said, there's just a ton, ton of currents right on the side of us. I mean, the dam oh, yeah, you right can see there. It. Yeah. And, but this uh, whole bay is like slack. It's all slack water. And there's almost like a little bit of reverse current coming back at us. But there is another pier that kind of pokes out little point. Uh, we might even try off of that as well tonight. We're gonna have to walk through the woods to get there but definitely a good spot. We're gonna try here for a little bit longer, see how our luck goes. Like I said, I've casted four times and I've caught four fish now. So things have, things are looking really good, guys. I gotta Nothing get huge. my rod. In. Yeah, you need to get your rod into the water. Let's do this. Woo! Okay, this is stupid. I literally just turned on the camera. So I grabbed my rod, better. took one, one cast. Better, and this guy freaking already caught another one. That Woo! was like a foot offshore. Literally. All right. Now that one might be a keeper. Yeah, I think so. Let's see her. Or let's see him, because he's milking. Yeah, he's milking. That is a male. Gosh, look at those just gorgeous, gorgeous colors to him. Just a little guy, but that one's probably going to cross over the old 15 mark. For sure is going to get that plastic out of there. 
choked on it. Again, just pink and white paddle tail. Moon it's all jig, guys. messed up after that. If you haven't given the old moon eye jig a dangle, I Oh, would. you gotta give it a dangle, boys. Beauty, all right, all right. let's put it to the bump. For sure, gotta be 15, Man, right? Look how dark that freaking fish is. Oh yeah, just over 16, 16 and an eighth. Hard to see. Woo, just over 16. All right, that's a beauty right hey. there, boys. So, like I said, a couple of these are gonna be coming home with us. We're gonna see if maybe we can get into a couple more. I have a feeling that we will. I am five for five right I have, now. I took one cast. <laughs> he barely got his. I don't even know why I'm not I even cast counting. It. I'm not even counting that as a cast no. though, because you literally were like, oh, and I was like, fish on. So, this one's no, coming I'm home. No, I'm just with trying us. to decide why I even cast it. You're just literally setting it down. I am the walleye whisperer. I'm the walleye god. So we've caught about five. Well, and by we, I mean Brandon. I haven't caught anything since I've been here. I don't know what's going on because he's five for five. Uh, well, at the time, we've taken a couple casts for the last 10 minutes here and we haven't gotten hooked up. So like Brandon was saying before, there's a point behind us and we're gonna venture through the woods. We're gonna go up in there. We have fished that spot before and the last time we were actually here at night and filmed the video, uh, they were stacked up there. Like we literally walked up to the point, saw a whole bunch of like glittery stuff in the water. And this was like a couple years ago when we were really stupid and didn't know what was going on. So we're looking and we're like, what the heck is that? And we're looking and we're like, oh yeah, those are walleyes. There was literally like 30, 40 walleyes just across the entire shoreline by that point. So will that happen again? Probably not. Uh, but you know, they are right against the shoreline that is super slack water right against the current edge. So we're gonna take a hike over there and just see what happens. Maybe we can get a bigger one. I don't know. A lot of the ones over here have been small, even though we did get that one keeper, but now yeah, let's go see what happens over there. Well, made it to the point. Last time, like I was saying, there are tons of walleyes here. Will that happen again? I don't know, probably not. But well, we're gonna check it out before we actually make our first cast, just to see what we're working with. Did you see an eye? Yep. There's, oh yeah. There's a couple right there. Oh Check yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take Brandon's rod. It's been working, obviously. There's like at least three. Literally right there. Right here. There's one right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To the left of it. Yep. I can't see the eye, but I... oh, 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 oh! He went for you. He went for you. Oh, there's another one in shallower than that. Oh, one's gonna take you right here. Come on. That one for sure, like, went at it. I don't know if you guys can see this, right about this area right here. That's a walleye eye. You can see it fully now. There's one. Let's see if we can get another one for you guys here on camera. For sure one there. Yep, we got a couple more over there. It's not focusing. Oh, there we go. See a couple there. There's that one again. There's two more out right in this area right here. Barely can see them. Oh, yep, one right down there, right there. Yep, oh yeah, you can see that one fully, the orange eye. He's literally right next to that rock, right there. Frickin' wall is everywhere. Okay, what I'm thinking we gotta do here, Brandon, we gotta run up to my truck. Let's go grab some minnows. Yeah, I think you're right. I think if we can get some minnows, we're gonna be able to get these fish. Well, you'll never believe it. So, here I am, getting the minnows, like a good boy. And what does Brandon do? Got another one, boys. Catches a damn fish while I'm gone. <laughs> what is this? All right, let's bump it. I think it's gonna be just under. I sprinted, too, for those minnows. Oh, my God. Like, I'm out of breath. Yeah, there's 15. 14 and a half figures. All right, let's go ahead and get a release on this one. Just a little guy. Check that out, guys. Like I said, six to eight inches of water. Nothing too crazy. Woo. See you later, buddy. Wow, that is so cool. Definitely a special time. He buries himself like right there. You know that thing I was saying on the other side where I was like, that's probably not gonna happen to sightsee him again? Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Dude, this spot is awesome. Well guys, now I'm extremely sad because I just got kachowed and lost my beautiful pink and white plastic. So I am gonna have to switch over to minnows, which usually isn't bad. We've been using them all year so far and things have been good, but the artificial 
has definitely been the ticket for tonight. Nick's been trying just a little bit with the minnows and hasn't had any luck yet. So I haven't had any luck all night. Yeah, yeah. No actually, matter what I'm throwing. Haven't had any luck really. I've been slapping them so far, but it definitely seems like the bite has gone down. Uh, like I said, I got here right around like 8.30 tonight and sun was just going down. That was the ticket. The bite was hot. I went three for three right off the bat. Things were awesome. So things were looking good. I think we've got like, I don't know, five or six, maybe even seven walleyes so far. Just the one keeper, but things are not looking bad. It's just crazy to think that right now they're tucked up into the shorelines, just like when we were here, what, three, maybe even four years ago yeah, that was. Like it was that. like our second video on our channel. If you guys haven't seen it, you're gonna have to go ahead and check it out. It's crazy, we were in the exact same spots fishing, exact same dam, and it's just crazy to think that Nick was able to get into, I think it was a 24 inch walleye, yeah, if I remember correctly. It? Yeah, we're gonna show a clip of it. Just crazy, smacked him on the old jerk bait. Freaking awesome. All right guys, so Nick just reeled in a uh, small wall, I'd say probably about 11 inches or so. Um, but we just happened to come across, it's kind of hard to see, but behind Nick's pole here, we just happened to glance in the water and there's probably a half dozen, dozen orange little lights uh, just underneath the water. And I'm Guess like, are those, those eyes? Are. Right there, those are walleye eyes. I'll so. show you how easy it is. If you're wondering how the fishing is up in the north woods, right here I'll show you how good it is. So obviously this is how close we are to shore. You can see there's a few rocks in the water here. It's kind of hard to see. But another one. There's one. Next Woo! There we go. There it is. So yeah, I would say for uh, the north woods fishing, pretty good for walleyes right now. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's a pretty nice one. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Nice slot walleye. To be honest, that footage may be cheeks compared to what you're watching right now. Crazy to think how far we've advanced as far as filming and producers here on YouTube as well. Again, that was like three years ago. A lot has changed, guys. But when it comes to the fishing, things seem to be very, very similar. We haven't gotten into a big female like that tonight, but the males are all acting the same. They're pushed up into the shallows, right along the shorelines. They love these rocks and stuff like that. They're milking just like they were the last time that we were here. Again, haven't gotten into one of those females. Who knows, could have been caught by now, or maybe she's just swimming out a little bit deeper. More aggressive baits could work, but so far, jig into plastic has been the ticket. So we're gonna dabble with it, give it maybe another five, 10 minutes. We do have to get going soon. Let's take a couple more casts. Maybe we'll get lucky and get into a couple more. Alrighty, wow. We just got back to the truck. Folks, not a bad night. Honestly, when I got down here myself, even before Nick started walking down that hill, I was so excited. I I was spamming him, I, was, I texted him, I tried calling him. I was like, dude, just get here. Threw one line out, boom, immediately. I almost didn't even believe it. First thing, catch a fish. It was like 14 and 7 eighths. It was almost another keeper. And then I got into two other ones, literally like right on the shoreline. And then of course, got into the next one. We ended up with what, like six or seven walleyes tonight. Unfortunately, just one keeper, nothing too crazy. Again, nothing huge, but it's always fun to come down here to these dams and just get out, catch some walleyes. Uh, it was really interesting to see how well we did actually on plastics tonight. Live bait was just not doing the trick and you're gonna have days like that. A lot of folks just strictly throw artificial. A lot of folks strictly will only use live bait. Sometimes you have to switch it up. We've been using mostly live bait pretty much all year. That's what's been working for us so far this spring. Uh, but today, obviously, things were different. Artificial did it for us. We would have loved to stay a little bit later, but both of us have to work tomorrow morning and it's like, well, just after midnight, we've actually been down here for a while now, but again, had a blast. Got to see some walleyes literally in less than a foot of water. I just went up way, way up north, northern Wisconsin, and there was like maybe two inches of ice left on a few of the lakes that we fish. So with that being said, we've got temperatures 45, 50 degrees plus coming up. We've got rain next week. That ice is gonna get ka -chowed. So we're gonna have no ice on the lakes. Things are gonna be open, hopefully for opener. We're living on a prayer here, but I'm pretty confident in it. So if we can have all of the lakes in Northern Wisconsin open, you bet we are gonna get on top of some walleyes and maybe even get some awesome, super crystal clear lake footage of walleyes literally right beneath the boat. So 
We got a lot of things coming guys, openers right around the corner. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the hunting videos, the fishing videos that we've done this spring. Again, openers right around the corner. If there's anything else you guys would love to see, let us know down in the comment section below. If you guys have ever seen walleyes in a foot, maybe even two feet of water, where you can see their eyes like that, it's just something that not everybody knows about. They can see so well at nighttime, which is why you can do so great all throughout the night. So again, if you guys have ever done anything like that, or want to find ways of doing it let us know down in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us we'd greatly appreciate it if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and until next time tight lines from nb edits